This is my work bag, a pair of aligns from Lulu, a staple in a business casual wardrobe, if you ask me. That's from Duncan. I literally just do it solely. Alright, let's try this again for like the bajillionth time. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. It is Wednesday and I'm going into the office today. Long time no talk. I can't tell you how many times I've picked up this camera and like tried to vlog and just, I would vlog like two clips and then forget about it and then <laughs> pick it up a few days later and vlog two more clips and it was just a mess. I know I told you guys in the video a few weeks back that my videos might be more sparse, but till here and I am going to get this vlog up for you guys. I just know I am this time. This one's going up. So welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a analyst in healthcare and I also am getting my master's degree in healthcare administration. I'm actually back in office now starting in the new year. So I'm on a hybrid schedule now. So I am working full time hybrid. So I think I'm gonna do three days at home, two days in office every week. And then I will be starting back up my master's this semester. It's my last semester and I will finish my master's in May, but I have three night classes a week. So I work full time and then I go to night school. So we're pretty busy around here and Honestly, I just wanted to take like December off because I am so busy all the time with work and school and um, friends and just living my life and like having the best time ever. December was literally my favorite month of 2021. I had so much fun. Like I went to Asheville, like we did trips and it's just been like the best month ever. So I just made the executive decision to keep the camera down and like live my life without the camera and it was really great. But I miss you guys and I love sharing my life and I've seen all your comments about like new people who are here and interested in health administration. So I am here to continue that. So I am gonna take you guys on the next couple of days. If you are new here, if this is your first vlog, make sure you subscribe, join our little family that we have over here on my corner of the internet. So I am going into office today. I have to be there at nine and then I will be there until five. So I am going in the office today and tomorrow, and then I start back classes next week, actually. They do have our classes online for the first two weeks this semester due to obviously the Omicron variant going wild. So I'm interested to see if our semester ends up 100% online or if we do go in person, it's supposed to be in person, but with COVID, you know, life is crazy, so. But I am going to get ready to hit the road. I'll show you guys my outfit and we will head out to work. So since I am hybrid now, back in office, I did like a big clothing order for office clothes because I really needed some. Um, let me just say, the Zara work slacks, which go like viral all over TikTok, are so worth the hype. I will totally link these for you guys, but they are amazing. I got two different pairs. I got the ones that come with a belt, which are these, and then just the regular high-waisted ones. I like the regular high-waisted ones a little bit better. They just fit nicer. They are both great. They're so comfy. I'm true to size in them. And they like hit perfectly on 5'8". These are my normal Target loafers that I love. And this top is thrifted. It's just like a loft, silky top. I ordered a bunch of tops from Boohoo, which is supposed to be delivered today. So I should be able to show you guys what I got. Hopefully it'll be here when I get home from work. But that is the fit for work. My office is business casual. And then Fridays we can wear jeans, which is nice. I went on a walk this morning and got some Dunkin' but it's empty now. So I'm gonna use, reuse this cup and fill it up with my second coffee of the day before we head out the door. Also, I know the Nespresso's going, but this is my work bag. It's literally just from Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks, but it holds so much and I can like bring my laptop back and forth from work. So I just ordered this literally yesterday and it came the same day I ordered it. I ordered it in the morning and it was there by the afternoon. Amazon truly amazes me. So I can link this for you guys. It's like literally the perfect work bag. And then I needed a lunchbox. So I literally got a plain black lunchbox, which also fits in here. Super nice. So let me know if you guys want like a work essentials video, like, or like what's in my work bag or something. I feel like that could be cool. And then I also got, I haven't even opened this yet, but it's a tumbler for my waters to make my life easier. I have a hydro flask, but you know, sometimes you like to have variety. This is also from Amazon. I can link it for you. I have the hot version, like the coffee version, but this is the straw version. It's one of those slim 
ones. That is really nice. Had to get ready to go back in the office. And then the last thing I got, which I think is like kind of an essential. I got this for Christmas from my dad and stepmom, but it is a camera to watch that little guy while I'm gone at work all day. It's really lovely. So I can watch him. He doesn't do anything, but I just like to, you know, crazy mom vibes. I just like to check in. Okay, we are at work. I'm about to run in and get started for the day. I'm learning some new stuff now at my job. So today I'm pretty sure I'm shadowing two people all day long, but my lips are really dry. So I'm gonna use this Summer Fridays lip butter. I can link it if you guys are interested. I like the Laneige lip balm formula better, but this is like pretty much just as good. And I like the component for like keeping it in my purse. So let's throw on our mask and I will probably pick up with you guys at lunch. Okay, so I'm on my lunch break now. I feel like yesterday I went and bought Chick-fil-A, which was bad, but so good at the same time. Today I packed a lunch. I feel like this is super real. I'm in my car. Like, yes, I could go sit in the break room if I wanted, but one, I want to talk to you guys, and two, I just want to like sleep and be alone in my car. I get an hour. I am close enough that if I needed to run home, I totally could. It's about a 20 minute drive. So 20 minutes there, I'd have about 20 minutes to like take Franklin out and then 20 minutes back. It's also just far enough that that's not really practical. But like if I had to, I totally could. For lunch today, I literally didn't have time to pack one. So I just like threw an entire salad kit and a Tupperware. So I'm just gonna make this salad in here like the little chef I am. Just gonna dump it in and try not to make a complete mess in the car. We have our toppings. I like to sit in here too because I feel like I can be as loud as I want and like I'm gonna like watch YouTube videos and like just chill out a little bit instead of being in the office. Spicy Southwest avocado dressing right on top. And then for protein, I didn't have time to make chicken, so I literally brought one of these chopsticks. So I'm gonna eat this first to go ahead and make sure I get in a little bit of protein. And I'm gonna chill and eat this and put on podcast, YouTube video, something like that, and enjoy my break. Okay, so I just got home from work. It was a good day. It is, let's see, what time did I get home tonight? It is 5.37, it's probably about usual. And I slipped into something a little bit more comfy because I'm about to take him, Franklin, my dog, if you don't know on a nice long evening walk. I try to do an hour every evening or I'll do an hour in the morning. Or like for example, today, I took him on a 30 minute walk this morning. So I'm probably gonna do like a 30 minute walk now. But I try to walk him at least an hour a day of like continuous walking. So yeah, things are gonna be a little bit different when my classes start back on Monday because I do believe they're gonna allow me to work from home on days I have class. So that will be good. I'll be home all day and then we'll leave in the evening instead of being gone all day and all evening. It'll just be one or the other. So yeah, I'm about to take him on his walk. I'm also going to throw in some food in my air fryer because it automatically stops. So I'm gonna like cook myself dinner while I'm on my walk. Gotta think ahead, you gotta think ahead. That is what we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna throw some veggies and chicken in the air fryer and it'll be ready when I get home, which is perfect. So I had my dinner and I went on my walk and I just let my dinner sit for like an hour or so. It's like such a fine line for me because I knew if I didn't eat, I would have been starving to death and probably like almost passed out during my workout. But when I eat, if I go too soon, I always get really nauseous, like sick, like my stomach churns. It's a fine line. I'm thinking about an hour should be good. We'll see, I'm kind of taking my time at 7.30. I just got this in the mail on Amazon. I can link it if you want one or need one. It is a barbell pad. Basically, it's so nice for squats. I swear, when I have this on, I can like add significantly more weight because my back isn't as sensitive to it. And same with hip thrusts. A lot of gyms have these. The gym I joined here in Charlotte does not. I think it's a COVID thing maybe, but they don't have these things. So I got my own because it makes like a world of a difference. I'm going to bring BCAAs to drink with me. I would take pre-workout, but honestly it's too late and I want to sleep tonight. So 
we're gonna do BCAAs. Just having like something a little sweet will help me out. You guys have like New Year's goals or, or resolutions or whatever. I try to be pretty vague with mine. Honestly, I've been really happy lately, but like I have goals, but I always make sure they're like obtainable goals. Like one of my goals is to graduate with my master's degree. One of my goals is to keep up with my health and fitness because I already am into it, but I just, you know, don't want to drop it for anything. I prioritize my friends and family. That's pretty much always one for me. So let me know, comment yours below, give me some inspo. I try not to be specific. I know like if you've heard of SMART goals, you say, they say you're supposed to be specific. But for me, in this sense, for New Year's, it is easier for me just to do broad goals. Because then I'm more motivated because I easily get discouraged if I am not meeting like a number goal or something. Let's go to the gym at the busiest time. My absolute least favorite. Yay. <laughs> just got back from the gym. Had a freaking amazing workout. I closed all my rings today. I got this Apple Watch for Christmas and I'm loving it for workouts. I literally just wanted a fitness tracker. Not that I think it's like 100% accurate or anything, but it's just cool to see like somewhat, I guess, your heart rate and calories and stuff. Really good workout. I am about to shower, call it a night. It's almost nine o'clock. One thing I do now that I am going to the office some days, on the days I'm going into the office, I lay out my clothes for the day before, like bra, underwear, socks, shoes. Everything head to toe just makes my mornings 10 times easier. So you can see I just laid out some leather pants and a black turtleneck, which I will show you all tomorrow. I am going to go ahead and finish off the day, but I will pick up with you guys in the morning. Good morning besties i am ready for work it's gonna be a great day it is my friday because i have tomorrow off because of the doctor's appointment here is the fit if i can find these pants i will totally link them for you they are like so cute and nice for work and they're super comfy i originally got them to wear like out but i just think they look more like trousers like work pants i mean i could probably style them to go out but so these are misguided like leather trousers, my normal Target loafers that are so comfy. This top is actually Amazon. I'll link it, but it's on my Amazon storefront. It's super stretchy and comfortable. And this necklace is also Amazon. So that's the fit. I just have my hair up in a claw clip and we are about to go work from nine to five. <laughs> I'm so excited to get this video up for you guys. I like can't wait, but I want it to be long enough. So I'm gonna keep vlogging. I am going to make a second coffee for the road. I just like to have something to sip on while I drive. And then we will go to work and I will pick up with you guys probably on my lunch break again in my car. You say you don't want to dance, that's not like you, yeah. Hi guys, I am back in my car for lunch. I just bought a bunch of snack foods this today, like some blueberries and hummus, but I did bring a ginger shot, so I thought we could do a midday, midday ginger shot. <laughs> These are just the no joke ginger shots from Trader Joe's. Get my chaser ready. And hopefully this will kind of give us a little pep in our step for the rest of the day. Cheers to being back in office hybrid. Here we go. Yum. <laughs> I'm going to put on a YouTube video. I have not watched YouTube. The whole month I took off, basically. I like very didn't watch anything. I'm gonna put something on and enjoy my lunch, so. I just got back from work. I am about to go on my evening walk. Um, it's about five, what time is it? 5.25, so almost 5.30. And I'm gonna go on an hour long walk. I got in a package from Boohoo. And since this is like a very work centric vlog, I guess, it's literally like a work vlog. I am going to show you guys this in this vlog because it is a business casual clothing haul. Like I said earlier, because I am going into the office now, I needed a few more clothes. Got some really cute pants from Zara, so this is gonna be all tops. I'm not gonna try them on, but you will see these in my upcoming vlogs. I'll be wearing them into the office. And I will link everything if I can find it. Okay, so first top is just a oversized like chiffon button down. These are super great to tuck into slacks really simple to style through a blazer over top extra cute like that so these are always like a staple in a business casual wardrobe if you ask me i'm losing daylight so i'm trying to do this before the sun goes completely down this is another like chiffon type top as you can see it crosses in the middle i don't think it's too low cut though based on the model and then it's like 
cinches at the waist and it's peplum. I think this is really pretty and it does come with a tie so you can tie it around your waist. Like I said, if you wanna see these on, just wait for my future vlogs or check out the link so you can see it on the model. But I thought this was like really pretty for work. Next up, this is another button down. This time it's a different material. So instead of chiffon, it's like a silk material. Again, an oversized button down. These are literally perfect for work. I think this one might be balloon sleeves. I can't remember, but just a nice silky button down. So you will notice I mainly buy very, very neutral colors because I like to wear black, white, and brown. Those are like my colors I like and olive green. But I did pick up a red top, it's a button down. Um, this one is a little bit different. It's open right now, but you close the top and then it cinches around the waist. You can kind of see there. So it's got more of shape to it and the sleeves have the elastic end instead of like a folded end. And the material is kind of like silky, but also suede in a way. Y'all are gonna have a really hard time seeing this one, but this is a dress. It's a black bodycon, just knee length past the knee. This will probably get onto my shins dress and it ties around the waist. So I thought this was just really cute, simple, flattering some booties or some loafers or something like that. Next up is a really basic chiffon top, again in black. It's just got a little v-neck and then the sleeves have this open like slit bow thing. Again, great for layering, basic, perfect for work. Two more things. This one is slightly different than the other ones. I mean, not really, but slightly. So again, it's a chiffon button down except it's short sleeve and you can see it has like a ruffle collar and the sleeves also have that ruffle detail. So just super cute and basic for work. Last but not least, I think I'm most excited about this piece maybe. I've been seeing a lot of girls on TikTok wear these and I think they're so cute. So it's basically a sweater vest with cap sleeves so you can wear it to work and this is kind of like a cow neck situation so that show you it's like a nice thick cream sweater material so these are all the pieces i got from boohoo all to wear to the office this stuff isn't really my style obviously per se like if i was going out somewhere like to lunch or dinner or whatever this is not what this is for, this is very much for business casual, but Boohoo has really good affordable business casual pieces and then Zara has really great pants for work. So I wanted to show you guys that little haul and now I'm going to get some exercise in because I've been sitting at a cubicle all day long. So long walk was good, I'm headed to the gym now. I'm wearing this cute little trucker hat from Target actually. This top is Amazon, it's on my Amazon storefront. I love this material. I wish they had more plain colors. They have like a lot of patterns, but I love the white. And then I'm just wearing a pair of Aligns from Lulu and these sneakers. So let's go get in a workout and do chest and try and then come back and wash my hair and like have like a little spa night. Just got out of the shower and I thought I could show you guys products I've been using. Nothing has really changed from the last time that I showed you what I've been using in my hair. I do always use a microfiber towel to dry my hair. And then I have been using the Fanola shampoo and conditioner. This is the brand Fanola. They did send it to me, but I do really like it. So and I've been using the restructuring shampoo and conditioner. And the first thing I do is I take this Olaplex bonding oil. I'm almost out, I'm gonna have to get another one because I do like it. It works as like obviously an oil, but also a protectant. So I use it right out of the shower and then I use it as my heat protectant. If I'm gonna put any heat on my hair when my hair is dry, I'll just use it as a heat protectant. So I kind of focus it on the ends and the middle of my hair. And then I take my, it's a 10. I've just been spraying this into my hand lately to make it a little bit easier. Pretty good amount of this stuff. It's like basically a leave-in conditioner. Rub it in my hands and I put it in the same spots, right? Like at the middle slash ends of my hair. And then the excess I will take up to the root. And then last but not least, I'm taking this fast food leave-in conditioner. I think I got this in like a FabFitFun or something. So honestly, I'm just trying to use it up. I don't love it, I won't repurchase it. It's just an extra, extra conditioner I'm trying to use. So it's a little bit thicker. So I do like a couple drops of it. And then I do this solely on the ends because I don't want my product to be like insane. 
So I literally just do it solely on the ends. Then I take a wet brush and just brush everything through, starting at the ends to get out any tangles, and then we work our way up. Okay, so I am literally all ready for bed. Now it is nine o'clock and I'm going to fold a bunch of laundry and put away those clothes that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm going to call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching this work vlog. Let me know if you like this. I'm not done with grad school. I'm just not back in classes yet. So I will have some grad school focused vlogs coming up as well. One last semester. Yeah, and of course, just some other fun videos. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, especially if you made it all the way to the end, make sure that you subscribe and join our little family. And with that being said, I will see you so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.